Hi, I'm Dr. Vidhu Anand from Mayo Clinic, Rochester, and with me here is Dr. Feigenbaum from Indiana University. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Feigenbaum. I'm delighted to be here. So, uh, my first question to you would be, where do you think the field of echocardiography and imaging is going, and uh, what's new and exciting? Well, we're still not as good as a bat. You know, they, they still uh, are amazing animals that can uh, visualize their environment and uh, capture a little insects flying around. And I don't know if we can do that yet, but there's a lot of things going. When people tell me, well, echocardiography is a mature uh, area, nothing new, exciting, happening, is, nothing can be further from the truth. Uh, it's a major reason why I haven't retired, because there's so many exciting things. Never underestimate the uh, engineers. They do amazing things. I was told uh, repeat repeatedly there will never be real-time 3D ultrasound because sound travels too slowly. You can't possibly have enough time to get enough information to get a 3D image. Well, they're obviously wrong. In fact, the frame rate in 3D is are increasing as we speak. Um, I'm going to be seeing uh, 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 an example on the floor uh, tomorrow. Uh, they're getting 40 uh, volumes per second, full volumes, uh, and uh, with a higher uh, improved re resolution, uh, both uh, uh, even temporal res uh, spatial resolution as well as temporal resolution. Uh, so there's many things going on. Um, We've been uh, working with strain, and I'm sure you have hit the Mayo Clinic as well. In fact, in Europe now, I was just at the European uh, meeting of, of, uh, of echocardiography or cardiac imaging, uh, and uh, in many, almost all the uh, major centers, strain is routine, done on, on all transthoracic studies. Uh, and looking at uh, uh, at least the left atrium and right ventricle in, in a routine fashion, uh, so uh, uh, there's, a, there's a great many things. I think that the world is going to be moving more towards 3D as it gets to the world is 3D. Uh, so uh, people have asked me what's it going to be look like in 10 years from now. Well, of course, I don't even know if I'll know what's going on in 10 years or not, but, I'll, but uh, I think 3D is going to be increasing. I think speckle tracking per se, uh, for strain or for anything else or for automatic uh, measurements, people are doing a, a lot more. Uh, uh, identification using uh, technology rather than your eyeball. Uh, so uh, I, every time I go to a show, I pretty much see something. Uh, you know, there's been a vector tracking of the red cells, which is much more sensitive than just color Doppler. That's been around now for at least 10 years, and uh, we still haven't really introduced it into uh, common practice. Uh, the fact is, there's probably too many things. Now, one area that bothers me is that young people don't get that excitement. They get excited about CT, MR, and which also is having, a, but they don't recognize the, the value of some of these things that are happening in ECHO, which are just as exciting, maybe even more, because they are very practical. Echocardiography itself, because of the cost and the convenience and the, the portability. And then there's the whole issue about these little handheld devices uh, to uh, use them in a, in a very productive way. So is there a lot going on? Absolutely. Thank you so much. And what would uh, be your advice to the fellows in training who are interested in pursuing an academic career in echocardiography or imaging? Well, I think I just showed you somebody who got an academic position as a trainee, as an advanced fellow in cardiology because of his knowledge of strain, which he picked up at our institution. So having some exp uh, uh, expertise in some of these newer developing areas uh, is unmarketable uh, 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 value in, in, in cert certain institutions, strain being one of them, but we can probably find the same uh, in um, any of their newer developments of uh, of these high frequency sound, uh, uh, transesophageal, uh, there's the whole area of uh, interventional uh, uh, echocardiography, uh, which is a, a very exciting field and the technology is there. Uh, so there are certain areas of specialty in echocardiography as we advance, as you become expert in those advanced, you improve your marketability. 
Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for joining us today uh, for Fits on the Go blog. For uh, more such videos, please log on to youtube.com slash fits on the go.